Hello friends and welcome back to another unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing the Lands Wraith Commander deck from Zendikar Rising. All right, let's kick it off with the commander. We have Obun Moldai Ancestor. At the beginning of combat on your turn, up to one target land you control becomes an XX elemental creature with trample and haste until in a turn where X is Obun's power. It's still a land. Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on target creature. Way cool. So, as you can guess, the theme of this is a landfall deck. And I've got one in mind that I'm going to be making. Of course, like I did with the other one, I'm going to tear it apart. And then I'm going to use it as components for another deck. So, I'm looking forward to that. And I already got some good ideas. Maybe I'll show you all the deck once it comes out. Well, let's go over the cards here in detail. We have the Abzan Falconer. He's a 2-3 Outlast for white. Each creature you control with a 1-1 counter has flying. Banishing light. When it enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until banishing light leaves the battlefield. Love the art. That is so nice looking. We've got Condemn. Classic one white instant. Put target attacking creature on the bottom of its owner's library. Its controller gains life equal to its toughness. Now that's a strong card there. Throw that on an Isochron Scepter or something. And heck, even if you were running like a was it Sanguine Bond when they gain life, when you gain life, they lose life, or Exquisite Blood. One of those two. You know what I'm talking about. Crush Contraband. Choose one or both, exile target artifact, exile target enchantment, three in a white instant. Elite scale guard, four in a white, two, three, human soldier, enters battlefield, bolster two. Whenever a creature you control with a 1-1 counter attacks, tap target creature, defending player controls. Kind of cool. We got core Katar cartographer. When core cartographer enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a planes card, put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shelf your library. So great for a landfall deck to have that land fetch. Retreat to Emeria. Three and a white for an enchantment landfall. When a land enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. Create a 1-1 one, one white core ally creature token or creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. Acidic Slime, a staple. Enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact enchantment or land. It's a 2-2 death toucher for five. Ooze, it's a great card. We got the Armorcraft Judge. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each creature you control with a 1 1 counter on it. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. I like that. All right, Beanstalk Giant. Nice. We got the six and green giant, Star Star. Uh, its power and toughness is equal to the number of lands you control. But you could also cast it for the two in green sorcery, the adventure. Search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. So you get a nice choice there. Circuitous route, three green sorcery. Search your library for up to two basic land cards and or gate cards. Put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Perfect for the gates because the gates come into play tapped anyways. We got the Elvish Rejuvenator, two green, one one elf druid. When Elvish Rejuvenator enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards in your library. You may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield tapped. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So you got some more ramp there. Embodiment of Insight, four and a green, vigilance for a uh, four four elemental. Land creatures you control have vigilance. Landfall, whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, you may have target land you control become a 3-3 elemental creature with haste until end of turn. It's still a land. A little bit of turning lands into creatures makes sense in a landfall deck. Evolution Sage, when a land enters the battlefield under your control, proliferate. That is a good ability. And I can think of so many ways to abuse that. We got the Far Wanderings, two and a green, sorcery. Search your library for a basic land card. Put that card onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. If 
threshold, you have seven or more cards in your graveyard. Instead of search your library for up to three basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tap. That's pretty nice. A three lands for three if you have threshold. Not too shabby. Bertolid enters the battlefield, two 1-1 one, one counters on it. Green one, remove a 1-1 one, one counter from it. Target player searches their library for a basic land card, puts it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffles the library. Of course, you've got the proliferations, other ways to get 1-1 one, one counters on there. More land searching. Harmonize, draw three cards for two green and two sorcery. Haro, I like that one. As an additional cast to cost a spell, sacrifice a land. Search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Inspiring Call, two green instant. Draw a card for each creature you control with one one counter on it. Those creatures gain indestructible until end of turn. That's a pretty nice card. Keeper of Fables, three and two green, four five cat. When one or more non-human creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Here's some card draw for you. Colony Heart Expedition, green one, enchantment landfall. Whenever you landfall, put you may put a quest counter on it. Remove three quest counters, sack it, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Perfect for landfall decks. Which of course it is, so that makes sense. Kodama's Reach, another great card. It's like a Cultivate, except for it's also in Arcane, if you're playing that kind of game. Search your library for up to two basic land cards, reveal those cards, and put them, or put one onto the battlefield, tap, then the other into your hand, shuffle your library. We got Retreat to Kazandu. Kazandu, however you say that. Two and a green, Enchantment Landfall. Uh, choose one. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. You gain two life. Beautiful. Love it. Seder of uh, or Seder Wayfinder. Green one Seder creature. 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. Spore Mound. 3-2 three, green. 3-3 three, three, fungus landfall create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token. That's fun, especially if you mix that with if you throw any other fungus in there. Um, it's a great way to do lots of things. There are cool fungus decks out there. Spring Bloom Druid. Green and two elf druid 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield, set you may sack a land. If you do, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them on the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. It's like a creature harmonize, except for they come in tapped and not untapped. Uh, Tuscard Captain. Outlast for green, 2 3. Each creature controls 1 1 counter on it, has trample. Perfect if you're making 1 1 counters. Yavamaya Elder, 2 green, 1 human druid, that's 2 1. When it dies, you may search your library for up to two basic land cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. You may pay two to sack it to draw a card. Zendikar's Royal, three, two green enchantment, landfall, create a two, two green elemental creature token. So we got some token generation going on. All right, now we're hitting the rares. We got the Trove Warden, two and two white for a cat beast with vigilance, it's three, four, Landfall, exile target permanent card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard. When it dies, put each permanent card exiled with it onto the battlefield under the control of that card's owner. So, it says exile target permanent card with CMC three or less. Do you know it's a permanent that's CMC three or less? That's right, land, land is. So you can exile land Boom, it dies, and you get a huge landfall there. We have the Geode Rager. Two red and four for four, three elemental first strike. Landfall, goad each creature target players. Each, uh, go each creature target player controls. Okay, so you play one land, and then until, the, until your next turn, those creatures attack each combat if able. And attack a player other than you, if able. 
multiplayer chaos, that's going to be a really good card. Admonition Angel. Three white and three for six, six flying angel. Landfall, you may exile target non-land permanent other than Admonition Angel. When it leaves the battlefield, return all cards exiled with it to the battlefield under their owner's control. So you can also hit your own lands if you want to save up for a landfall. But of course you can get rid of pesky things too. Emeria Angel, 3-3 three, three landfall. It's a two white and two angel flyer. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may create a 1-1 one, one white, white bird creature token with flying. So we got a lot of token generation on those landfalls. Emeria Shepherd. Two white, five, four, four, angel with flying. Landfall, you may return target non-land permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. If that land is a plains, you may return that non-land permanent card to the battlefield instead. That is a good one. You basically, boom, you play a land, and then it is non-land permanent, but that is any permanent from your graveyard that's a non-land. If it's a plane, boom, into play. Hours, Hour of Revelation. I like the art on that one. Three white and three sorcery. A spell co costs three less to cast if there are 10 or more non-land permanents on the battlefield. Um, so super cheap if the board is crazy. Destroy all non-land permanents. It's crazy. Especially if you have a way to turn all your lands into creatures. You could do that, boom, hit that. And all of a sudden, you have a huge force of lands. And they got no defense. You got Planar Outburst, three and two white. Destroy all non-land creatures. You can awaken it for five and three white if you cast it for that. Also put four one counters on target land you control and it becomes a zero zero elemental creature token. Or not token, with haste is still a land. So you can boom, cast it for a bunch get a beefy land and destroy all other creatures that aren't lands sun titan two white and four for six six vigilance giant whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks you may return target permanent card with cmc three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield like i said permanent cards include lands so boom this guy hits the field landfall he attacks landfall if of course you have those lands in your graveyard together forever it's a two white enchantment when it enters the battlefield support two so you're going to put a one one counter on each of up to two target creatures you can pay one choose target creature with a counter on it when that creature dies this turn return that card to its owner's hand that's pretty cool Abundance. If you would draw a card, you may instead choose land or non-land and reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal the card of the chosen kind. Put that card into your hand and put all other cards revealed this way on the bottom of your library in any order. If you're getting some landfall combos going, I think this is a real good opportunity to uh, get, get, you know, you draw, boom, you pull that. And if that allows you to hit another landfall, that's great. The Mending of Dominaria, three and two green. It's a saga, so uh, as it enters and after you draw and after your draw step, add a lore counter. Sacrifice after three. So for the first and second counters, mill two cards, then you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, then shuffle your graveyard into your library for three. So one, not only are you getting stuff back from your graveyard, but on top of that, you're getting all those lands onto the battlefield. And can you imagine a huge amount of landfall there? Multanya, Yavamaya's avatar. Two green, four for a zero, zero legendary creature, elemental avatar. It's got reach and trample. It gets plus one, plus one for each land you control in each land card in your graveyard. So crazy right there, right? 
green one return two lands you control to to their owner's hand return it from your graveyard to your hand so boom easy way to get it from the graveyard into your hand plus if you're returning the lands that gives you more lands for landfalls a lot of synergy these commander decks do a great job with synergy nissa's renewal five in green search your library for up to three basic land cards put them onto the battlefield tap then shuffle your library you gain seven life ramp harder you get the rampaging balos a classic two green four for six six beast with trample already beasty as it is but when you landfall you may create a four four green beast creature token so more token making beautiful return of the wild speaker you choose one draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control or you could non-human creatures you control get plus three plus three until end of turn it's a four and a green instant rights of flourishing one of my personal favorites two and a green enchantment at the beginning of each player's draw step that player draws an additional card each player may play an additional land on each of their turns essential for any landfall deck you got your sylvan advocate a green one elf druid ally it's a two three with vigilance as long as you control six or more lands sylvan advocate and land creatures you control get plus two plus two waker of the wilds two green two for a three three merfolk shaman Two green and X, put X 1-1 one, one counters on target land you control. That land becomes a 0-0 zero, zero elemental creature with haste. It's still a land, so boom, you can start cranking out those uh, land creatures. Living Twister, two red green for 2-5 elemental. Red 1, discard a land card. It deals two damage to any target. Green, return a tap land you control to its owner's hand. We got... Mina and Den Wildborn is a red, green, and two for a 4 4 legendary creature elf ally. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. So you're going to get a lot of these effects stacking up, which is so sweet. Uh, you can pay a red and a green, return a land you control to its owner's hand. Target creature gains trample until end of turn. So just more ways to get that land back into your hand. Uh, another thing that's gonna be great with this deck, we're talking about uh, Oracle Moldaya. It's now like a $30, $40 card, which is crazy. Um, luckily, I, ha I have at least one. Hopefully, I have one to spare for this deck that I'm gonna create. Allows you to play an additional land. You can uh, you play with the top card of your library revealed. It's great. But you also wanna run maybe Crucible of Worlds with this card, or with this deck, I should say. You have Omnath, the Locust of Rage. Two red, two green, and three for a 5-5 legendary creature elemental. Landfall, create a 5-5 red and green elemental creature token. So this deck is producing tons of tokens. Whenever it or another elemental uh, you control dies, it deals three damage to any target. So that is a beastie card right there. Seer Sundial. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay two. If you do draw a card, it's a four drop artifact. So some more card draw. Looks like we're getting to the lands here. We got the Needle Spire enters the battlefield tapped. It has for a red or white. You can pay two red and a white. It becomes a two one red and white elemental creature with double strike until end of turn. It's still a land, nice. Ground Assault, uh, red and green. Ground Assault deals damage to target creature equal to the number of lands you control. Great. You got the Naya Charm. You know, red, green, white. Instant choose one. It deals three damage to target creature. Return target card from a graveyard's... Uh, return target card from a graveyard to its owner's hand. Tap all creatures target player controls. Struggle and survive. Two and a red. It deals damage target to target creature equal to the number of lands you control. Or you can pay it for the survive the green and one aftermath cast a spell only from your graveyard then exile it so you do the struggle first and then the survive each player shuffles their graveyards into their library that's a cool card to be sitting in your graveyard 
You got the Sylvan Reclamation, green, white, and three instant. Exile up to two target artifacts and or enchantments. It's got the basic land cycling. Treacherous Terrain, uh, red, green, and six. It deals six damage. I don't know where I got the six for. I guess where I got the six. All right, uh, it, it deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of lands that player controls. And that's to each opponent, so nuts. Arcane Signet, two, tap, add one mana of any color of your commander's color identity. It's a great card, super cheap, and of course in commander, that's gonna get you a mana of any color you need. We have the Sandstone Oracle here. Seven drop, four, four artifact creature Sphinx. Flying, when it enters the battlefield, choose an opponent. If that player has more cards in hand than you, draw cards equal to the difference. Cool. Scare Tiller, four drop, one, four artifact creature Scarecrow. When it becomes tapped, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield or return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. That is crazy. Because when it becomes tapped, you get to do one of those things. So there's a lot of things that can, you know, cause it to tap. But there are some things that can cause it to untap. So you might be able to go, whoop a doop 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 landfall all day. Soul Ring, it's a classic. It's in every single commander deck ever. Uh, we got the Blighted Woodland. It taps for a colorless. You can three in green, tap, sack it. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shelf your library. So you get a bit of land, land search there. Although, there are some better lands, I think, that do similar things. Boros Garrison enters the battlefield, tap, taps for a red and a white. When it enters the battlefield, return a land you control to its owner's hand. So that's pretty handy. That's more ways to get it. Boom. You can also use Evolving Wild or Terramorphic Expanse in this deck for good effect. There's also the lands you can crack, pay a life to search for a land of either color. You got a gate here, Boros Guild Gate, enters the battlefield tapped, red or white taps for. Command Tower, another staple. If you're running a command deck, you need Command Tower. Just straight and simple. Uh, Cryptic Caves taps for a colorless. One tap, sack it, draw a card. Activate this ability only if you control five or more lands. Interesting. Evol Evolving Wilds, I was just talking about that. Gruel Gate enters the battlefield tapped. Tap it for a red or a green. Gruel Turf, just like the uh, Boros color one, except for as a red and a green. Of course, comes into play tapped, you bounce a land. Jungle Shrine, comes to play tap. You can add one of the three colors, super nice. You got the Crosian Verge, enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap it for a colors or two, tap it, sack it, search your library for a forest card and a plane card. Put them out of the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Very nice. We got the Myriad Landscape. I think this is the card that I was thinking of earlier. Comes to the battlefield tap. You can tap, add a colorless or Two tap, sack it, search your library for up to two basic land cards that share a land type, put them on the battlefield tap, and shuffle your library. Naya Panorama. Now this one comes in untapped, which is nice. You get a colorless for tapping it, or you can tap one, tap, sack, um, and then search your library for a basic mountain, forest, or plains card, put it on the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Now imagine if you're doing this with any sort of... Uh, copy effects like say lithoform what is it uh lithoform something but it's a sweet legendary artifact uh just lots of cool things you can do uh white green gilgate uh green white taps for same bounce the land terramorphic expanse we talked about that too we got a Roiling Regrowth, Sack of Land, Search Your Library for up to two basic land cards. Put them on the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library for two and a green. Nice, it's basically a... It's a, a, har, a Haro uh, 
Harrow, whatever you want to call it, except for comes into play tapped. We'll still take it. We got a Marasa Root Grazer, 2-3 Beastie, Green White Vigilance. Tap, you may put a basic land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Return target basic land you control to its owner's hand by tapping it. Um, so that's just another way to landfall. And there's, I'm sure, ways to untap that or have that untap. Um, and I'll, I'll come up with something. Nice little combo where you can go do, 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 do. And especially since you can use that to return a uh, basic land you control your hand, if you have a way to untap it easily, you could tap it, put a land down, tap it, pull that land back up, tap it, put it down, and then you just gain so pretty much as many landfalls as you want. And we just got plains, mountains, and our forest here. Boom, we'll set those aside. What kind of detail? We got core ally tokens, double side. We got birdos on the other side. Boom, birdo. Bird up. <laughs> we got some 2-2 two -two elementals. Oh, and some fancy 5-5 five -five elementals. Beautiful. Look at those. What's our, what are your thoughts on double-sided tokens? Do you like double-sided tokens more than single-sided? I don't know. And here's a question. Should tokens have the Magic the Gathering back? Or whatever whatever they normally have. We got some saps and some beasties. Look at that. And a little, little card that tells you about formats. And of course, tells you how to play the game in general if you're not sure how to do so. But there you have it. There's the Lands Wraith Commander deck. This is the commander they put in, but that's not the commander I'm gonna use. Maybe I'll do a deck reveal when I finish it. I'm gonna have a quite nasty <laughs> landfall deck. I think it's gonna be a ton of fun. Got a lot of good ideas to make a similar landfall deck, but I'm gonna make it my own. And of course, with that, we're gonna make it nasty. I can think off the top of my hand I wanna put Boundless Realms in there. I believe it's a card that allows you to search your library for basic land cards and put them into play tapped. I want to say, I'll have to look it up, but you get a land card for each land you have in play. So boom, huge landfall there. And I got a ton of ideas and this deck's going to be cool. I'll show you the new deck on camera when it's all constructed, whenever that happens. So look forward to that. If you did enjoy this video, please like, leave a comment down below, and if you don't mind, consider subscribing. It helps me out tremendously. Until next time, friends, I'll catch you later. Farewell.